how to use AutoDS with Alibaba. AutoDS plus Alibaba dropshipping tutorial. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we will be demonstrating how you will be able to use Alibaba over here together with our AutoDS as you can see here. Additionally, we will be using Shopify over here to show you guys how it works and what it would look like when successfully imported a product just like this one over here. So to get started, we're going to use AutoDS first. Now, connecting these two platforms or using these two platforms together is actually very simple. There's no complicated things that you need to do in Alibaba or in AutoDS. Now, people might think that you would need to add it through the store section of AutoDS. But if you check it out over here, it's not going to be available over here. This is just for the store that you're going to publish it to, which is in our case, we have Shopify. So what you're basically going to do is just going to click on the add products option over here. And then you have single product as our option over here. Simply select this. And you can see here that you could just basically enter a supplier URL or a specific product ID. So simply go to Alibaba and look for a product that you want to sell. Let's go with something very simple. Let's say I would like to sell the shoes over here. So open the product and you could double check the different things, the different information. Uh, there's variations over here that you guys could check out. And if you're happy with the product that you have found, you can simply copy this and go to our AutoDS and paste the URL. You could either edit now where you will be able to edit the products as of now or like live or you could simply click on publish to store. Clicking on publish to store as you can see will give us a notification over here. Simply select that or simply click on click to attract progress which you will see over here at the top as you can see. You can click on view details to be able to view more information about it as you can see. And if there is an error or something bad or something goes wrong, you will be able to read from the status what is happening, what made it go into error mode. And I have an example over here of one of the products I have successfully imported or uploaded. You will be able to see uh, different information like the variation. You have availability, on hold, out of stock, uh, total, OS days, prices. Uh, profits that I will be able to get. You have your product ID and you could see how many of you sold and then your store of course and many more. We could modify this, click on edit and we will be able to modify the content. Basically, this is the same product by the way from AutoDS as you can see the cartoon cotton slippers but you are able to modify already uploaded products through AutoDS as well. Our import product is currently still in progress, so you might have to wait more on that. And as you can see here, we could modify a lot of things like the title as you can see. So let's say I just want a cotton slippers or cartoon or let's say cat cotton slippers. And then you could do other modifications. You could modify your description as you can see here. You can modify your variants, you could change or remove variants you don't want. You have your images, you could modify images as well or unselect or even add more images to your uh, product. And then you have your item specifications over here if you want. And if you're satisfied with that, simply click on save and you will be able to save that product. Now, let's see if it will update over here on our Shopify store. And let's see if it's going to be, there we go. It's now known as cotton or cat cotton slippers. And as you can see as well, perfect timing are shoes that we have just selected in Alibaba. Just so happens to have been uploaded onto our uh, Shopify over here. So let's go back to our product list over here. And there we go. We have our shoes over here. You could uh, modify it the same way that I have just showed you guys earlier. Now, when looking for products in Alibaba, what I would typically recommend that you guys do is to look through top rankings or look for hat selling products because those type of products 
will have higher chance of being sold because like the name suggests, it's hot selling or currently trending. You could look through or even search for specific products that you want to sell over here. So maybe some cut products over here. Search and you will be able to see products that are related to cats as you can see. So maybe I would like this product over here, OEM manufacturers, some cat glitter. Just basically do the same thing that we have done earlier. Add products, add single product, enter the URL, and then publish to store. We could also explore multiple products over here, as you can see, where you could just basically paste uh, multiple products. So after putting one product, click on enter. And then look for another product. So let's look for maybe uh, this product over here. And then let's go with this one over here. So we have a total of uh, three new products that we're supposedly adding. So let's wait for our pages to load. Uh, this one, let me copy it right now. Is it there? I think, oh, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, let me exit this one. That's like said, so it's taking a while to load, but anyway, get there and paste it on our auto DS over here. Enter again, and then let's look for another product, or let's just upload this over here. Uh, we could add as a draft, or create and publish, or schedule for data, or edit upload setting. Let's just go with edit, create, and publish. And as you can see, on our import progress bar over here at the top, uh, you are able to import one and then multiple products. And our first one or like our multiple products are already importing as we speak. So I think if we refresh this, it will already be there. If I'm right, or I think it's going to wait for the other one to finish. Oh, never mind. It's going to be uploaded almost immediately. As you can see, it's already in our Shopify store. And then the other one just finished. Oh, never mind. The one that just uh, that we saw was the one that for uh, one or like single upload. And then the, for the multiple one, it I think most likely it's just going to wait for everything else to finish before it actually uploads that product or that uh, specific product to your Shopify store. So let's give it a few more moments and it should upload. Now, additionally, if you want to do more things, there's also print-on-demand features available in AutoDS, so you guys could check that out. Uh, there's things that you are able to do with the dashboard orders and different sections of AutoDS. If you enjoyed this video, guys, consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.